when you're coming into this country. And I currently work um, in the immigration movement space, in particular around um, anti-blackness even within the immigration space. And I work with a number of organizations, national groups that work with uh, black immigrants, undocu black, um, undocumented immigrants and so on and so forth. And I think it's important to think about the process of migration coming into this country, um, the process of becoming a U.S. citizen. I've worked with a number of settlement groups, like groups who bring uh, folks and um, do the integration process. And there is a very intentional project um, of anti-blackness and framing the African-American community as one that, you know, recent immigrants need to distance themselves from. Uh, there's definitely an intentional uh, sort of process of highlighting how certain model minority groups, model minority groups are, you know, like have upward mobility. So it's kind of like a, a warning, right? Don't align yourself with this group, right? These black people, because then your outcomes are going to be X, Y, Z. What that does, first of all, it creates, you know, animosity. It brings a group of, you know, immigrants and communities that already are having sort of in, internalized anti-blackness, racial animus, um, as well as, you know, like, don't do this and you will, you know, have some sort of positive outcome. And that in and of itself is anti-black. It creates a caste system in the US, which is, you know, black and African-American position at the very bottom. And that is a very intentional, project of whiteness. It's a very intentional project of the immigration system, very intentional project of all of the policies that have been enacted predating even the formation of the United States. I think that that's something that we really need to think about. You know, it's also reinforced, as you said, Selma, in Hollywood, 